Hi guys, I am Ashutosh and I am back with another tutorial on uh, GitHub GraphQL. So in this tutorial, we will fetch the data from, our, uh, from the GitHub account. So you can fetch data from uh, your own GitHub account using the token provided by GitHub and uh, the username of your GitHub. So basically GraphQL is a querying language like, like SQL and you can call APIs or you can fetch the data from GitHub using GraphQL. GitHub provides Explorer for uh, testing our API using this. I have given link for this Explorer in the description box below so you can try your own query here. Uh, make sure that you are logged in into your account using this one and here we'll write a query so you can know more about graphql query on the graphql website graphql.org and you will get to know about how to write the query and you can go through the documentation as well so in this tutorial we'll fetch all the issues that i've created for my account using this github graphql api so first we'll remove this viewer because we want to log in so we are a user so it will also provide you auto completion and you have to log in just provide your uh, username for github in my case uh, my username is ashtosh1919 so i am providing that one after that you can uh, you can press control and space to uh, enable the auto completion so you will get the list of all the available features in uh, your account so you can get any pinnable items you can uh, so we can get uh, our pinned projects uh, avatar url means our profile photo bio html uh, commit messages and everything so we so we are interested in issues so just type issues and it will show the issues so just click the issues also you can uh, query on those issues so let's say i want just last 10 elements of uh, the issue uh, issue table or issue collection so uh, it, what i mean by that is i want the last 10 issues so i can also press the order by so what order by i have to pre uh, pass a query to order by so uh, the field for the order by on which field we want to order our uh, this query so created at and the direction will be descending so what i mean by this query is that it will fetch the issues uh, which are in descending order of the creation time of that issue and it will fetch the last 10 issues like that right so now we can query those issues so you can like uh, give the auto uh, auto complete mode so that is uh, like control and space you can go to notes and inside the notes you can uh, like fetch a a everything like uh, uh, you can say title and uh, you can say body and you can say close that so uh, we are fetching three things here so that is title body and close that so the, the title of the issue the body of the issue and the if the issue is closed it will show the uh, the date or the timestamp when the issue is closed and if it is not closed then it will show null so you can run this query using this play button so just press this play and it will show you the complete response here so you can see that uh, the first uh, the first issue is improve the TFDS get started documentation and you can see the body you can see the closed uh, timestamp also so like that you can see all the 10 issues uh, so now this is just an explorer how can I do the same thing using my the JavaScript so that I can use that in any of my projects so let's say you are making your portfolio and you want to fetch uh, the data from your github account so how can you do that so we'll do that in quickly in a moment so first go to github.com and log in to your account then go to settings after going into settings go to developer settings here you will see three options github apps 
OAuth apps and personal access token. So when you are accessing your GitHub account through a JavaScript or any other language, you will need a personal access token so that it can tell uh, the uh, GitHub that this user is authenticated and you don't need to access it. So you need to get or uh, generate a new token. So click on generate new token and give a title. So you can give title as demo token and just uh, like and give all the permissions so that we don't get any error or something like that. So and just press generate token. Don't worry, I'll delete this token uh, for the security purpose after this demo. So just copy this token. So after generating the token, open up the editor for building our JavaScript code and create a new file here. So let's say test GitHub GraphQL dot JS. In the script, first we'll create one object that is GitHub data data and in this object we will put two things that is token put it uh, paste the token here which we have copied from github and we also need username you, uh, in my case username is ashtosh1919 because we want to call an api to github we'll also need the fetch or any fetch library from node.js so we are will define fetch is equal to require node fetch right so if you are using react you will directly define uh, or you will directly import import fetch from node fetch or something like that so but we are not using react so we are directly uh, importing it using require sorry i forgot uh, semicolon so after doing this we'll define body of our request so i'll define constant body is equals to this will be a json object so the key will be query and the value will be a es6 string so you might know that uh, to define ES6 string, we need to give uh, back quotes and we need to specify our query in this type of string. So we'll directly copy the string from our GraphQL where we have tested that this query and paste it in, the, in here. So now we are ready with our query. So when you have many queries like this and you don't want to change this, this username or you want to customize your queries, you can also specify that using this GitHub data because we have username here also. So that's why ES6 string gives advantage. So remove this Ashutosh1919 and uh, you can directly give here this github data dot or github data and username so here that your username will directly be put into this one we also need a base url and header and headers for the api call so first we'll define a base url base url will be https api dot github dot com slash graphql so this will be the base URL for the API call. We also need to define headers. Headers will contain two things. One is content type and another thing is authentication token that we have extracted here. So first thing is content type will define application JSON. And another thing is authentication. Authentication and then we'll provide bearer and we'll attach our github data and token now we are ready to make an api call 
So to make an API call, we'll say fetch, we'll provide base URL and then we'll provide more information about the API call. So the method of this API call will be post because we are posting this query or we are posting this body as a request. Then we'll provide headers as we described above. Then we'll provide a body as a body that we have that we have made here. Also, one more thing that we have to pass this body into a string. So using this method json.stringify. So what it will do is it will convert this whole dictionary or a JSON type of thing into one single string so that uh, uh, the this API of api.github.com can process it. After that, we can get the response using dot then and you can get response using ES6 methods and you can paste that using console.log and json.stringify and response. Also we can catch the errors. Error, you can directly lock uh, the error using the same json.stringify error. So here we have created all these things required to fetch data from our GitHub GraphQL API. Open up the terminal and first we'll need to initialize npm for this project. So just say npm init to initialize to initialize the project. So give enter, give enter for all these things. Give enter. We just need to initialize the GitHub repository. So just press yes and we have initialized npm. So we have initialized npm. So if you are using react, you don't need to do this. We have initialized npm because we want to install this npm package that is node fetch. So just say npm install node fetch. This has fetched an NP npm package node fetch which will help us in requesting this API to get the data of issues. So to fetch the data from GitHub, just run the script that is node test github graphql.js and you can see that it has given us a response and it is printing all the data all the issues that we want that you can see i have given a github repository link in the description box below where i have uploaded one file in which in which i have given a queries related to uh, related to many more things uh, like as fetching a pull request from your account, issues from your account, along with very detailed information, organizations that you have contributed to, the pinned projects of your account, and much more. So you can use this file directly to generate the data and also to save it in the respected path. Just provide your GitHub token here and uh, your GitHub username and just execute this file to get the data. So that's all for today. Like, share and comment on the video and subscribe to this channel if you like my content. I'll be back with another tutorial next weekend. Till then, stay safe.